Alright, this is Bucket, and we're going to be coaching Tugo. Uh, he is a Pac-Man, and he's going to get some Mega Man. Um, something about the matchup real quick before we get into the match. Um, Sawblade does go through the Hydrant, so you can't exactly sit behind the Hydrant and expect not to get hit by anything. He has to be ready for the Sawblade, right? Um, same thing as Side B, but Side B doesn't go through the Hydrant, it only hits the Hydrant. And instead of sticking to the Hydrant, it, it explodes immediately, right? Um... Yeah, look out for Saw Blade confirms, like Saw Blade into up till Saw Blade to the bear affair at kill percents. Um use DI as grab combos. It's true at low percents. Uh what else is there? And what it does with pellets, right? That's basically that's the gist of it, and pay attention to what it does in disadvantage. Cause in neutral it's pretty hard to approach the pack um Mega Man, right? So you have to you have to really, really capitalize on his uh, disadvantage, right? Let's see what stage you got here. Let me FT. Um We'll, we'll see, because we don't have any platforms, so we'll see how he plays, and then, um, next game we'll see how he plays the platforms. We're not gonna, because we don't, there's no platforms, we don't worry about that right now. I actually don't even know who FD benefits a little more. Yeah, so again, like I said, uh, Saw Blade does go through Hygen, right? Alright, so th uh, the thing about Mega Man's pellets is that you can like, constantly be putting pressure, it blocks our projectiles, but what it doesn't block is it doesn't block key, it doesn't block Galka from keep moving, right? So uh, most of the time, Pellet will like, break um, a lot of projectiles, but it does not break um, Pack 1 stuff. And like, none of his stuff actually, except for Cherry and um, everything below Galka, it'll, it'll stop. Leaf Shield, yeah. Again, like this last saying, Mega Man disadvantage, what does he like to do? So, yeah, most Mega Man will do one or two pellets, and then they'll start jumping away. Especially if you're right here in this close, right? If they do three, I'm pretty sure it's a little bit more laggy. You have to ask a Mega Man main, not me. But I'm pretty, there's a reason why they don't do three pellets. They only do two or one, and then they start moving, jumping back and forth, and they'll jump fainting and stuff like that, right? There's a reason why they don't only do two pellets and not three. See how he keeps doing one, 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 two, two, one, one, two, right? He, he never does the complete thing. Right, so a little pressure with the Hydra, same thing, kind of like Palutena, right? So th it's actually exactly like Palutena, right? You get the neutral B and the side B, so one projectile goes through the Hydra, the other one hits the Hydra, right? So it's basically the same thing. This is the, the Saw Blades confirms what I'm talking about. Orange is a horizontal tool, not a vertical tool, and look, look at where he was, right? Oh, that's a too far back. That's good, that's good. Yeah, so again, like a lot of pressure could be get put on. So again, we gotta get Galaka, and we gotta like, you don't don't be afraid to like, keep th re throwing Galaka. You can put pretty pressure on him it's because Galaka be all of, all of his projectiles, except for Saw Blade. I'm pretty sure we'll see what happens. I'll I'll, I'll point it out later if I remember. I want to see how it's if Galaka clanks with uh, Saw Blade. So okay, he keeps like double fainting. We could we should have been ready for that. But let's do hit him. Let's see what he does in disadvantage. <laughs> uh, air dodge, direction air dodge, and then rolls. See how it's, uh, see how I got activated immediately. Alright, so I'm seeing you do that a lot, is that you keep double jumping when you're cornered here and he's getting, you're putting a lot of pressure on you with projectiles. You keep double jumping over the tiers and uh, sort of stage. Again, it, it is punishable. Like, he can still do up air and stuff, right? Oh, and don't double jump out of his up air. I don't know if you know that. You'll die way earlier. Jumps out of um, pressure horizontally. Double jumping again. Not to do that. That was nice. So what happened there was some of the quality though. Uh, I can't really change it. Um, I'm sorry. So you threw the orange, it hit the pellet, and because the orange clanks or something, it doesn't delete it. Like I said, th th uh, this is the item, not a projectile. So you, well, it, it's kind of it's a projectile, but it's like it's an item. So you hit, it hits something and it pops up. It doesn't get deleted immediately. It pops up, right? So it popped up, and then it hit him. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, we can't. We should got hit. We should have got him by, hit by that saw blade because you know we should be ready for that, right? Okay, so it looks like the saw blade did, gets destroyed when it hit by even the orange. So I'm pretty sure Galaka will delete the saw blade. So yeah, Galaka and Key stupid good in this matchup. 
Bell will kill right now. So, when he, okay, this is very important, so you should do that. You should take note of. Right here. You guys are both holding shield, right? And he's behind you. He grabs you, right? Sometimes people will just kind of, like, get back because they're, they're, they're afraid that you're going to spot dodge and then punish them, right? They'll mix up the timings of the grab. Okay, there he used three pallets. I, I, I need to figure that out. I want I want to see you charge fruit a little bit longer so you can get the better fruit. So you can, like, spam Galcons. You keep using orange. Which I guess is working right now. And okay, there's a little Hydra thing again. Not safely. He DIs away from you when it is down air neutral. Let's hold shield. Yeah, you're fine. You keep doing that. You're not invincible. Also, there's a Sal Blade thing again. That means you need to be ready, ready, ready for him. What happened? I can't tell. Uh, well, you know, it probably, it probably looks like you tried doing side B. Alright, so. Mega Man when you die. So, when you're on the, the starting platform right here, you'll see a lot of Mega Man jump up here, and so throw side B on top of you. You'll see them put the... Go-Go? The, the dog thing. I, for, I forgot his name. Jumps, jumpers, something like that. I, I forgot his name. <clears throat> yes, like that, exactly. Right? So that's side B and jumps. And they'll like, do setups before you can even play. So you gotta be ready for that. He's taking advantage of your hydrant a lot more than you taking advantage of your hydrant. Alright, right there, we should have side tilted the hydrant in his face instead of letting the saw blade put pressure on us. Like that. You know what I mean? I'm gonna start nailing you if you don't if you don't start doing that. See that see that kind of pressure? Let me show you again. So like we're, we're keep getting we're, we're we're cornered. He keeps putting on projectile pressure like this. We've, we're grabbing for some reason, and then you get you get you get frustrated. You double jump here. You throw Hydra down, right? Instead, we should. I want to see you get Galka. There's the the cell by setups and stuff, the Z dropping and stuff. See now he's gonna start punishing you for doing that. Now, you're getting frustrated, I can tell. Get ready for that. Good thing you're ready. Looks like you're ready for that time. Alright. I want you to see I wanna see you take advantage. Also I want to see you go Gaka and key. Like a key right now. I should totally want him to go for key. And not orange. I don't know why you're going for orange. Take those. <laughs> what the hell? Why, where are you, Adrian? Where are why are you, Adelja? See, ex this is why Galka is so good in this matchup. Look at this. He thinks he can put on pressure on you. He's doing what he's doing, doing it for whatever long, and then bam. He get his pals get beat out by um, the Galka, right? <clears throat> also, what I'm seeing is he does two pallets into jump, two pallets into jump, two pallets into jump. And when you're holding shield in the corner, he does one pallet jump, one pallet jump, one pallet, one pallet jump, right? I'll hold you a little bit longer. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure you called him out right there. That was good. One second. I went a little too far back. <laughs> right here, you called him out. You called his jump. I, I like that. Wait, what's going on? Did I go forward? Anyway, we got the Gagalka. Guess I'll play now. Yeah, so you're going to go and start calling out his jumps out of shield. Okay. So he, yeah, exactly what we just started there. He keeps jumping out of pressure. So yeah, you can't that before even I did. That's good. Almost. I don't know why we did landing there. There's no reason to do landing there. These are the cell blade setups you need to look out for. You see yeah, on the other side, that's amazing. So what we could have also done there is we could have landed him on top of him and dare. We could also land on this side, right? We could have done other things. I was gonna say look up at his Z drop, right? Alright, so 
the situation here has been reversed. Instead of him being behind you, you're behind him. And look what he does. He rolls towards you. And you narrow the shield for some reason. Probably because you're panicking? I'm not sure. He jumps out of pressure again. He loves to jump. Why are we asking such a hydrant? So, again, like I said with the downer thing right here. Then it comes out and he DIs away from you. And look how loud. I want to see. I want to show you how laggy this downer is. He couldn't have done anything for about. Right, right. See how, see how laggy. You have so much time to go over there and back throw him. Or you, you, even F smash. I don't know. He's in fuck you right there. You take those. You can get, see the Galka is really good in this matchup. The Galka doesn't get by, beat by anything. Uh, again, because, look, you keep jumping in, in pressure, right? A lot of players will just call this option out anyway, and then they go, okay, he's just going to keep jumping into me. So it's like, right? It's a, it's, it's a good option. Don't be wrong. It's a good option. Every, like, like everything, everything, every good option in the game, if you do it every single time, that, it's no longer a good option. You know what I mean? Rolls away again. And again. You just keep doing that for some reason. You keep like jumping off stage. Just shield. If you just shield the pellet, the side B, it goes away immediately. And then this is start pellet, um, pellet harassing you. You jumped out of pressure again because you keep doing it like all the time, right? So we gotta fix those things. That's what I'm saying. And also, we gotta deal with the pellets a bit better because as soon as as we as uh, not pellets, just projectiles in, uh, in general. Because as soon as we start getting pressured in corner, we just you don't know what to do. You, you uh, the only thing you can think of is dealing with here and resetting neutral. Which then as soon as you get the hydro down, you sit behind it. And then, if he, if he doesn't contest you, he sits back here, he throws saw blade, you're not ready for the saw blade, and then you don't utilize the hydrant in your favor, instead of, you let him use it, uh, use it, use it against you. If you're going to let him use it against you, no reason to use hydrant at all, you know what I mean? Alright, so in that game, two. this is the first of three, not, um, yeah, first two, three, so, get the next game. Uh, okay, get game number two here, and we're going to get FD again. Okay, we're gonna get a Galka amazing start, but again, we're doing this stupid uh, Hydra thing. He look, he's already starting to catch on to it. He missed, but whatever, right? He's starting, he's starting to figure it out. There's a landing fair thing again. I'm pretty sure landing fair is not safe. Maybe. See, he's catching on to it. You, you, you're getting lucky. <laughs> Stop. We need to start going for orange. We should be down there. Okay, so he jumps out of pressure and he does the same thing with you, honestly. Take okay, so we know that one one saw blade and one side B will not launch the hydrant. So you're scared for no reason. Shield the saw blade, wait for him to do the side B, sight tilt the hydrant in his face. He's gonna do some defensive option, and if he goes under it, then you punish him for going under it, right? There, there, there's counterplay. If you, if you're not gonna use, utilize the hydrogen like at all, and you're just gonna keep throwing oranges, then you shouldn't be throwing hydrogen down at all, right? Because look, he's getting more value off your hydrogen than you are getting off your hydrogen, right? There's, that's how he was a misinput. That was fine. There's no reason to be jumping off stage for some reason. See, he, he he's, he's missing, but he, he's onto you. No reason that's actually hydrogen right there. He likes to roll after you hit the hydrant, hit him with the hydrant. Also, whenever he does the forward air, he's shielded, right? Um, I, I can't remember when, but he is, he landed the forward air and he shielded, so you can definitely grab him exactly what you just did. It's amazing. <clears throat> so even though he does up B, he still he can, if he if he still has a double jump, he can use it afterwards. So it, it's a mix up that he has. You gotta read it for that. Pay attention to him that he has his double jump and whatnot, right? Jump again out of shield. There was a real dodging thing again. Why are we direction air dodging? That was a risky forward air. Why are we direction the air dodging for no reason? 
Okay, so that's also a habit. Again, a lot of pack ones have this habit, especially on Wi-Fi, is that you think that your opponent's gonna run up here and then approach you for some reason, and then they just don't. They wait, they wait up there, although they know you're gonna do the grab because it's a habit of yours, and then they'll punch you with the saw blade forward air. Right? It's, it's not, again, I have this habit sometimes too. It's just, whatever, right? It's it's a hard habit to fix, no worries. But still, we gotta fix it. <clears throat> Because Pelquist grabs the Dictor. There's a Pelt spam. We're just letting him spam us. I want to see you. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see the Pelt spam again. Because we gotta deal with this Pelt spam a little bit better. Because oh, again, this guy's not even that great at Pelt spam. All right, so we gotta find a way to like get under his Pelt or whatever, right? So we gotta like approach him and then shield, approach him, jump, or do like a, a full hop up here and then like, not instead of putting dodge jump up here and put the hydrogen down, we like full hop and then land on top of him and see what he does. We have that he'll shield, he rolls and try, and then he dashes back to catch you landing with the S smash, saw blade forward air. Like what is what is he gonna do, right? And then we kind of go from there. But sitting here and letting him hit the pels on the shield isn't gonna help anything. So the, obviously, obviously, the way to approach this is to full hop jump, right? Like a and jump on top of him, and what kind of defensive option is he gonna do? But instead, we're jumping here with an hydro down, right? Like that. Wait, let me see that again. Because I, I said earlier that saw blade. Okay, yeah, he, he hit a pellet. He hit the pellet on the hydro too. I didn't see that. So if he doesn't hit the pellet, the saw blade side B does not launch the hydro. There's a roll again. He's catching on to you, and you're also air dodging after you land on the hydrant too. He's also probably catching on to that because he did another forward air. That was a good angle. You did that stupid grab thing again in the corner. There's a uh, what's his name? Frick, I forgot his name. Go go, is it? What's his name? I'm I'm looking this up. Give one. <laughs> I'll, I'll cut the video. Give me one second. I'm sorry. It's rush. All right, I'm back. It, it, here, the dog's name is Rush. <laughs> I totally forgot. Anyway. <laughs> uh, again, I don't. Again, F tilt would have been faster, uh, more safe, and stuff that. Right? There's no. I don't agree with F smash and hydrogen ever, unless he's off stage and there's, he's not playing neutral. Like, you know what I mean? I, I just don't like F smash, a hydrogen. So we. Why did it launch this way? Alright, it's something we gotta look out for now. But I was about to say we pre primed the hydrogen for him, because we know he's gonna prime the hydrogen for us. We could have let that side B hit the hydrogen, and I'm pretty sure side tilt maybe not hit. won't launch the hydrogen. We could have just nared the hydrogen to be safe. So still, oh, as much too, but still. Thank you. You fi you're finally starting to use the hydrogen in your favor. There's a double jump faint again. Did he just nair out of his down B? That's weird. So you're catching on to his jump out of pressure too. You guys both have the same habit. You, you also have the habit of doing forward air at a disadvantage. Not nah, very good because he look what he, look, what, look what he did. Yeah, he just you just did it again. Bam, he waited for the forward air. He didn't wait for the forward at that time. Probably because he thought you were going to do something else. There was the air dodge at the hydrant again. So you, you have very simple hi the, uh, habits that you need to be fixing, is what I'm saying. Very, very simple hi habits. Like learning how to use this hydrant against him. And that situation, I think he, you kind of gave it to him. I don't think he gives anything you've done. There you go. Exactly right that. So, look. I'm going to give you exactly what you need to do here. Ready? So, okay, exactly what he's been doing the entire game, but the hydro down. He it hits a shield, he rolls away. He throws a side he throws a saw blade, you shield the saw blade, he throws a side B. I saw the side B first. So now we know that side B Oh, you you hit the you hit the apple too. Okay, never mind. So yeah, we let, we prime we let him prime the hydrant. We side tilt the hydrant in his face, and look what he does. He double jumps out of pressure, right? So instead of charging fruit, we go okay. This is my chance. 
So the only thing he can do right now is throw side blade down, uh, air dodge, or uh, rush, right? So and so we just jump and we don't we don't pressure him, right? So if we had run up here and pressured him and forward air him and put him at disadvantage or back, or, um, back air him or up air him or anything like that, right? Pretty good. Wait for an air dodge or some kind of defensive option from him. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I've seen that. I don't have seen that though. Again, we're in a corner in this general area. We jump, right? What do you, he's catching on to it, but it's like he's not catching on to it. He's not punishing you. I just knew I like that. So you start you're finally starting to mix up your hydra thing. Normally you would land safely and then direction air dodge, right? Now you're doing down air, which is fine. He also has the same thing. He, you put him at disadvantage, he just forward airs you. His is easier to hit at disadvantage, though. <laughs> Good mix up. I wasn't ready for it either. Okay, so I only agree with catching landing with grab if we see that they waste a dull gem. He wasted his double jump, and then we see him, and we react to him DIN. So yeah, uh, uh, he could have easily, um, you know, land on top of the the hydra or whatever, and then punish you. But exactly what you do, right? Good grab. He, he panicked. We're, basically, he was waiting for a reaction. Exactly what he was looking, looking for. We gave him what he was looking for. Same thing with back on a bell. You do not want to panic when we see <laughs> Mega Man above us at this level because he can Z drop it, which is probably what you were expecting. So that he, he rolled, you rolled into it, right? I want to see. There's no reason to estimate the hydrant. I want to see you go for Galak and Key. <laughs> yes, exactly amazing. And again, he double jumps again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so here, he has no double jump. He has no rush, right? And then we see this thing. I'm not sure how it works. I'm pretty sure that there's a way to like cancel it into like saw blade or rush or whatever like that. I don't know. I'm yet to ask Mega Man again. I'm not a Mega Man expert. So you have to ask Mega Man. Don't do that. So what we could have done there is because um, it looks like you've made that nair safe. So if you fast fall and then nair right about this area, exactly what you did. So faster, closer to the ground, as close as as close as closer to the ground as you can get. You can cancel animation and you can cancel his out of shit option with jab. If we jabs right, if we just held on A, we jab him and we could we could have beat this option. We also get we get we also gotta get better at our land, the hydrant landings. <laughs> get out of here! Humor is so freaking weird. <laughs> All right, what's going on here? I'm, whatever. We get up attack for no reason. Don't your way. And we got working on hydro landings. Dodge of fate. He lands for some of us. We don't have shield. He the forward out of his advantage. Jumped. He jumped out of defense too. Disadvantage too. We don't have the hydro. We have smashed the hydro neutral for some reason. We're using orange still. We're finally mixing up our hydrogen landings. Appreciate it. There we go. So the reason why the hydrogen la launched backwards well, after you hit it was because okay, so the, uh, so he hit it with the side B, and then up, so he primed it for you, and then the water came out right as you hit it, so that made it pop this way, right? 
It's really our timing. There's Dolgen Fagan. He's looking for you to do some kind of panicking option. No reason to be as much hydrant. So you can definitely narrow the shield at his forward air. I'm pretty sure it's not safe. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> so the reason why that orange didn't go anywhere was because one second. You threw it right here. So if you throw it right as the water starts to push you, then the orange would kinda of go in slow motion this way instead of getting launched or whatever, right? Dodge your face again. He's waiting for you to do some kind of defensive option like that, right? Double jump at this advantage. Aw, oh, again, landing fair. <laughs> Apple won't kill, especially Mega Man. Mega Man's pretty dis um, deceivingly abby. He's made of metal. Thank you for your utilizing the hydrant. Alright, so here. If we either hit key in this like area right here, like to the left of this area, he will die. Uh, Apple will kill soon, and we can back throw him soon, and we can add smash him or back throw him as an edge guard. Right? These things are your kill options. So I want to talk about this. I don't know if the Mega Man knew this was gonna happen, but if this uh, melon hits the, his shield or uh, like I say his pellet, because or if it's anything the melon will pop upwards, right? So, the situation here is that it's going to hit a shield, and he's closer to the melon. So, it's his uh, it's his um, duty <laughs> uh, to stop you from re this melon and keep p putting on pressure, right? It's your duty to decide whether or not he's going to either try and protect you from re-grabbing the melon, if he's going to re-grab the melon himself, or if he's going to see what you try to do, right? So, what you should do, if he, okay, so if he tries to prevent you from grabbing the melon, then that means that you're going to run up here and re with the forward air or whatever, right? So you just forward air, he beats the option, right? So what you should do is you run up here, you wait for the forward air, you punish it. Now if he if he can anticipate for you to wait, then and he doesn't go grab it, then you grab it. It's really hard to it's really complicated to neutral this is this situation is right here, but that's that's how you do it, right? It's basically just a game of rock paper scissors, right? Who's gonna go for the melon? Who's gonna try and prevent that person to get the melon, right? Who's gonna hold shield? Who's gonna roll? Saw blade F smash will launch it. That's new information. So because he it, that hydrant the hydrant landed with dare works twice for us or three times for us, but now we're doing it every single time. Now it's good. Again, we gotta mix it up. Like don't do it again. It's a good option. You, uh, you start doing a good option every single time, it's no longer a good option, right? No, that's how this game works. I know it sucks, but it's how it works. We gotta stop using the orange. It's, it's oh, it's, we went to time, shoot. So it's, again, orange isn't a bad fruit, but it's like, to new, use against neutral against someone who's been using a lot of projectiles isn't good. So we lost this round two because we went once in time. I didn't even realize once in time. Shoot. Anyway, we're gonna go to game number three here. So it's a seven minute match. Okay, so we got game number three here and we got small battlefield. Now we have to worry about platforms. Right, how is this guy gonna use it and how are you gonna use it? We'll see. I have, I honestly, I don't, I'm not too educated in the uh, Mega Man matchup as you heard. I didn't even know who, who, who Rush is. <laughs> Again, there's a f the for the shield of the forwarder. It's a habit, is what I'm seeing. So that, this is exactly what you need to be doing the entire game. But again, the orange. I still don't like the orange right now. Like again, it's again not a bad fruit. You can still put on pressure, but to do it every single time. Also, I was gonna say that I will tell you use the hydrant against him instead of having him use it against you. It's just like that. Also, he seems to roll towards you out of pressure. And there's a forward arrow to disadvantage habit that you have. It's right there again. 
And the, because you think that's starting to work, but now it's not starting to work, right? We gotta stop doing it. Alright, so he called out your jump out of pressure after hitting you with the saw blade. Don't jump next time. Wait for him to do the forward air and then punish his forward air, right? I don't know why you did that. You're not getting punished though, so it's okay. I haven't seen him punish your side beyond stage at all, so it's okay, it's okay I guess. <laughs> don't do that. Also, he called out your jump out of shield again with the forward air. After hit hitting you shield with saw blade. There's the rush after platform thing again. Yeah, the biggest thing I gotta say with you is we gotta know when to use what fruit, how to land on hydrant, and um, just disadvantage and advantage state. Bas basically, just neutral in general is what you gotta work on to go. Remember what last time is that he grabbed you that last time? This time he waited for you because you didn't air, right? You know, it's Pedal's option, but he beat you this time. Stop doing I know, okay. It, it, your mindset is, okay, it worked a few times, so I'm going to keep doing it over and over and over again until it stops working. And then you start doing it again, and it, it's never worked again. Right? You also keep rolling into down smash, which hasn't worked at all yet. Why just go to ledge? Like I'm pretty sure you that you're afraid of his down air and stuff because he's been going, he's been jumping up down air and stuff. Um, to counter that, you just you don't side B all the way to ledge. Like if it's just a linear recovery. What you can do is you can just go, you can go halfway, then you hydro stall, dull jump, air dodge, and then trampoline, hydro stall again here, down here if you want to. Like Pac-Man has so many options to stall and bait and. Call the options and stuff like that, and, and, and uh, counter. Um, not, not, I don't counter um, edge guard that much, but still, like reverse edge guard. There was a guy, okay, but we, I don't know why we keep doing this fruit thing. I love that you rolled there. That tells me. That you know you can roll the past hydrogen. And rolling past hydrogen is a really good option. But again, again, a really good option. If you do that really good option over and over again, it's no longer a good option. Right? But rolling past hydrogen is extremely good. Doing as much hydrogen in neutral, and that's very good. It was a good as much. So you've shown me that you're afraid of his downer, but then you recover like that. Like, I, I don't understand. If if you're truly afraid of his downer, then like you gotta, you know, mix up when you grab ledge and stuff like that. But like, I don't know why you would do that. I was gonna say he's gonna jump over here because he has been doing that and he hasn't been punishing for doing that, so he's just gonna keep doing it. Um, then he air dodges for some reason. There's a dodge thing again, like I said, two seconds ago. So it seems that you have to, that you have the need to punish out of shield. Like so you, something hits your shield, and you just get this impulse to punish him. Uh, you have, you have to hit them, right? You, you just gotta relax and let go, right? <clears throat> It 
again. Like I'm pretty sure that the parry is um an accident. Well, if it was a good, if it was intentional, that was a really good parry. But still, hold shit a little longer. Punish a forward air. That was good. But again, like you're gonna start doing that every single time now. But like from what I've seen, so you do. Okay, here's the hydrant landing. He loves to roll. We know this. So I have to hit him the hydrant, and then instead of landing on top of down air, instead of I'm um, going here, then the direction air dodging. What you do is you, you go here, you dodge jump, and you throw apple. Right, the apple part was good, but you, you the part the fact that you double jumped it and you you keep mixing up the hydrogen landings, I love that. The apple was just a little uh, cherry on top, right? Good. See how good Galka is in this matchup, and we're not using it properly anyway, or enough, or both. Again, with the Nutri gap uh, grab, or then roll down smash. That's a sub. He missed it, though. He didn't get the sweet spot. That is a sub. We gotta look out for that in, uh, I percent. Even a little earlier. So, what he's looking for is the same thing as what you look for when, or pac looks for, when he has Bell. I haven't seen you going for Bell at all. So, he's looking for a defensive option, a roll, um, something stupid out of, sh uh, um, a landing, a really unsafe aerial. Like, he's looking for something unsafe and shield, or he's looking for a defensive option like a roll, or a spot dodge, right? That's what he's looking for. Don't give him those options. I also keep seeing that he keeps jumping, uh, full hopping off the platform, and then he goes through. And then he, um, since he had saw blade in hand, he's trying to do a setup as the last stock. And he has two stocks. He's got two games. He's pretty confident he's gonna win, right? He's looking for that saw blade setup. Don't give it to him. Uh, he ex exactly what I said that uh, he was looking for, and we gave it to him. Say a defensive option like a roar spot dodge, a unsafe aerial and shield, or something just in general, something on seven shield. That's what he's looking for. We gave it to him. Good DI though. There, yeah, that was good there. Again, like you have this impulse to like as soon as something anything hits your shield, you have the impulse to, like okay, I need to punch, I need to punch, and you push something. Like that Nair, that's not gonna hit anything. Like in nine a million years, he would have to hit the forward air, have zero lag in the forward air, and then jump backwards into a Nair for that Nair to have hit, right? So this shows me that you have a really bad out of shield habit, right? You have a lot, a lot of bad habits that we need to fix to become a better player, right? So in this matchup, we need to we need to have general pack knowledge and understand that Galka. Bell and Key go through projectiles. They do not get stopped at all, right? So we should have realized that and go, okay, this guy's been using a lot of projectiles. So we did we land a hydrant, we get behind hydrant, we throw we, we throw Galka, it beats up the saw blade, it beats the side B. We use the we use um, hydrant's pressure. We know that he's gonna jump out of pressure, we punish the double jump, right? As soon as we do that, then he's gonna rush out of here, we punish the rush, and then after that he's gonna down B, we punish the down B the down, down B. Yeah, down B. Right? There's some very simple things, and then you um Hydrogen and then he rolls and then you do a hydrogen to down air every single time or you do a hydrogen to air direction air dodge every single time. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that we need to work on to go, right? But we all need to start somewhere, right? Uh, that's all I got to say about this. See ya.